Hey everybody, you already know what it is. XMX and today we're back with another one. And for this one, I'm gonna be solo queued. I'm gonna be playing as DJ Bagman. My two other teammates are gonna be Lou and Big Dog. And we're gonna be versing another DJ Bagman, a Blair, and a Saru. So let's get this thing going. So I'm pretty sure Blair's gonna get the rebound if she does a chip out or something. But if she doesn't, hopefully we get it. But we also got a PC player in there, so he might get it. But Big Dog with the clutch rebound, I'm getting it. I'm trying to go in for a dunk because this is my dunk build. It chokes the first one. I'm trying to go in for a second one, but I hit a manual layup by accident. I check my freestyles to see what's going on because, you know, something ain't right. I'm trying to get a dunk. But after all those misses and blocks, they're going to finally get the ball, give it to Saru. He's going to hit a pull-up, get it easy, nothing. Then I'm surprised Saru missed it, but he's going to get the ball again, do a slip and slide in two, and now they're going to get their first two a game. I'm going to be looking bad right now, 0-2 for now, because these dunks ain't working. But that's alright, because the PC player going to shoot a really far 2 from across the court. I'm surprised that one went in, because they're right on the line, but it's PC. So the PC player wants to switch. I respect that. Blair doing a little thing, but why is the PC player still on my character? Um, you wanted to switch, but then you wanted to switch again. I don't, I don't understand, but it is what it is. So now the score is going to be 2-4. to four. Big Dog calling out screens, not screening. There's the screen. I'm going to hit him with the pump fake. I don't get the ball back because, you know, I'm a dunk build. I can just shoot twos. This guy has a really high two stat. If the dunks ain't working, I'll just whip in the twos. But we're going to get another two right there. So now the score is going to be 4-4 four, four. with a minute left. Blair with the rebound doing her little spin thing. She's going to shoot it and actually make it. Like I said, Blair's a nice little shooting character for twos and threes. But now, I'm going to start off with the ball. I'm just going to go straight in. And there it is. Finally a dunk. But it's going to get blocked. Well, at least I get the dunk. But don't worry. I'll get one of them. I'm going to get one of them this game. I'll make sure I'll do that. But Blair doing a little spank thing again. This time into that. The fadeaway. But that's not going to work. Our teammate picking up on the Saru. I'm there to get the loose ball right there. He's going to shoot another deep too. And I'm surprised he's actually making them with Saru being that close. But it's PC. So you never know. So now the score is 6-6 with 36 seconds left. This time DJ Bagman with the ball. I'm going to be there. Slap that out of here. Big Dog with the rebound, but it's instantly going to get stolen. Right to Blair. Back to the DJ Bagman on their team. And he's slipping and sliding. Now I don't know how he slid all the way to the 3. That shot fake. You know it works, but it doesn't work that good if you don't get the ball back. But they're going to get the choke. Somehow DJ Bagman gets that ball. I'm still here. He's going to pass it to Saru. They're going to get another easy 2. Like, come on, PC players. Stay in your person, man. We're giving them free twos, man. And plus, I'm also kind of selling as well because I'm a dunk build, not doing anything, but that's fine. I'm going in straight for this one. And boom. There's a scissor throw freestyle on them. And that's what they get. So now the score is 8-8. Eight, eight, two seconds left. Teammate wants to switch. I'm going to let him switch. They're blocking the pull-up. Nice block right there. That's going to be the end of the first half with the score being 8-8. Eight to eight. Now we're heading into the second half, so I'm going to use, you know, a little more meta character. My two teammates are going to be Giant G, and one's going to be Murdoch. They're fighting over that position, but I'm just going to bring out the Ayla, because why not? The other team that's going to bring out the Murdoch, and the PC player is going to bring out the Jack, and we're going to be versing a Giant G, Ayla, and a Lou. So we're kind of the same thing, but not really. But it is what it is. So we're about to get the second half underway. 8-8. Eight to eight. We're back at it. I'm the Ayla, and we got Giant G on the court. Jack over here blocking everyone. That's why people left open, but good fingertip block right there. Not passing the ball, that's not too good. So we're going to set some screens, going to pass to me. I'm getting my shot ready, but the double team, and I'm going to pass it straight to the paint to Murdoch. And we're going to get easy too. They're too worried about me in the threes, which they should be, honestly. But Giant G could pick up on those threes. They're going to be calling a timeout instantly. I'm sure our team ain't going to switch anything. We're looking pretty good starting the second half, so... We're just going to stay solid like this. If we need to switch, if the game's too close when it shouldn't be, you know, we'll start We'll start really sweating. But this team is a sweating team. The other team's a sweating team. Are they going to switch to a Sydney? Um, I mean, yeah, Ayla was more deadly, honestly, unless your Sydney got blind defense. But I don't think so as well. I can just put my hand up and look at the Jack kind of hovering again. They're going to try to go for a slow knee shot. Jack's going to easily block that. Lou with the ball again, going for another slow, basically, layup shot right there. Giant G eventually going to get the rebound, go up with it with a short distance dunk. 
get a two. So now the score is going to be 10-10 with a minute 32 left. I'm going to get the ball. I'm going to go over here, try to see if I can get a crossover. But look at Giant G right there as well and pass it back to Murdoch. He got Giant G jumping. He should have went up with the layup right there, but he didn't. He's going to pass the ball to the right. A little nervous. I'm going to get the ball. Hit it with a quick jumper. But Sydney reading it and jumping. Smart play by them. Lou with the rebound. I thought we had it again. But this time, look at that. Jack can leave Cindy wide open again. Worried about other people. But I'm already on that person. So now, it's going to be 10 to 13. Jack with the ball. Passing it to me. They're reaching. I got to be teaching. And that's what they get. You can't reach when I'm doing a dash, man. That's all it is. So now the score is going to be 13-13. Giant G with the ball, going in the paint, passing to Lou. I have to step up because Jack's too worried about guarding everyone. Murdoch with a great block, that's what I'm saying, just let our teammates do it. We're capable of doing that. Cindy getting left wide open, I'm putting the hand up. If she shot that, she probably would have made it, honestly. My hand up was too slow and I think I was way too far for it. But now the score is going to be 13-15. to We're going to be down by two. I'm going to hit a drive, hit another drive, seeing if I can get open. Giant G still kind of hovering, but he ain't really doing much. I'm going to get bump, instantly passed it. Other teammates calling a timeout because, you know, we need it. We don't really have much good offense right now, so we're going to change it up. And we're going to be calling a timeout at 15-15. I'm going to be switching to Janessa because, you know, I had enough. My other two teammates are going to be switching to Giant G and Rebecca, so this might be the answer we needed. Oh, last switch to Carter. So we're going to stick with this. We'll see if the other team uses our timeout to change as well. Maybe get something more optimal. And yeah, they do. They're doing a Lee, a Sydney, and a William. So that's a really good spacing with them. I'm pretty sure William gets a buff with girl characters, I'm pretty sure. So they're going to be deadly. Especially with us doing all this double team with the PC player. Someone's going to be left wide open, I'm telling you. I already see it happening. But there's William slipping and sliding again. Carter with that good defense. William's kind of slow, so Carter can be on that. Lee going for a fadeaway. Giant G instantly slapping out of here. Carter with the rebound. Back to Giant G. Giant G getting it, whiffing it. William with a smart chip out right there. Going to have the ball spin shot. Not going to be able to do much with it. The time was ticking. Didn't make a play happen. So now, now we're going into overtime with the score being 15-15. Another minute on the clock. Let's see who gets the rebound. Giant G with a clutch rebound. To Carter, not going for the layup, smart play, running out, getting a smooth two. Could have done a three, but if you were two, Carter, it's understandable. So now the score is going to be 17 to 15. Sydney with the ball, I'm going to be on it. And see what I mean with the Giant G, he's just hovering over other people. He's going to have the shot. And I'm just saying, me and Carter are perfectly fine of getting these blocks. You can see it, we're doing it. We're getting the blocks, but yeah, he still wants to hover. I mean, it's reasonable and okay. I would understand in the paint, but this far... So I get hit with the screen and look. There it is. He's wide open, so they're going to get a three. With the score now being 19 to 18. It's looking close for them. So now I'm going to start off with the ball. And you know what? I'm just going to try to go for dunks, threes. Look at that. Leaving the paint wide open, I'm going for the dunk. And now the bad news for them is I got my freestyles ready. And I guarantee you Sydney is not stopping one of them. I promise you that. So now the score is going to be 21 to 18. Couple of seconds left. William with the smooth dribbles, hitting a nice little manual layup. So that's going to be another two for them. So now it's going to be 21 to 22, and look at that. Lee's way too slow to catch up to me. Sydney's way too slow, and that's going to be another easy dunk. So now it's going to be 23 to 20, and we got the defense, so they can't be going for threes. All right, we don't got the defense, so Lee's easily going to get a three on us and tie the game. So I'm going to get the ball, go easily by the Sydney, but look at Lee in the paint. I see Giant G there. He's going for the screen. I'm dashing out. That's an easy three with the extra green on it. And that's what we needed at a time like this. I'm coming in clutch with the plays in the overtime. So now the score is 26 to 23. William still trying to go for a two when you need a three. Look at the time. The time's running out. Lee with the ball. He's going in the two area. And yet he's still going to shoot a two when you guys need a three. That just literally sold the game right there. I'm going to shoot a half court shot. Remember, those count as a miss. I'm not going to lie, those count as a miss. But that's going to be the end of the game. We straight came back with it, even when it went to overtime, which it shouldn't have, but it did sometimes. But look at that, our teammate with the clutch twos. We're going to end things off with 12 points, 5 out of 9, 5 assists, 1 block, 2 loose balls. And most importantly, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And we will.
See you on the next one. Peace out. And also, two days ago, I did do a stream about the new character. If you want to see more about it, go check it out.